The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. celebrating Halloween different this year. Some of us are having a virtual party and some of us are having a party with ho at home with family and friends. Today I'm meeting up with my friend Summer Rose Castillo who we get to know in the PBS kids show Alma's Way where Summer is plays Alma, a character that is just like her and me. We want you to have some fun and celebrate Halloween with you so get your snacks ready. Welcome to the show Summer Rose Castillo. Hello everyone, I am so excited and happy Halloween! So tell me, what is your Halloween costume today? My Halloween costume is Anna from Frozen and this is the outfit from Frozen 2 where they're exploring and trying to find what this weird spirit is. Amazing. It kind of matches with the bow a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's dark and yours is dark as well. And I love your costume. It's it's perfect for a scientist. Like, come on, you can absolutely tell what you're what you are. And your costume looks like you're ready for adventure and for anything. <laughs> so what? Have, so how have you been doing? Like, what have you been? Do, what have you been? Have you been staying active and healthy this year? Yes, I have because my family and I have been going biking and hiking and we've been working at our home. So that's really been helping me stay active during the year. Wow, amazing. <laughs> like, how, like, how has it been like virtually for you? Like, since we're still doing it, but we're also getting back into the gist of things. It feels absolutely amazing to be back in school in person because last year was really tough to be in virtual, virtual. And so now I'm meeting people in person and that's just really exciting to me because God has blessed us all during last year and that we've all been safe. Like, is there any other things that you've been doing? Well, yes, I have. And like you said earlier, I have been doing Alma's Way which has also been keeping me active. And it's it's like really a lot, a lot of fun. Tell me a bit about your character, Alma. Is she like you or are you completely different? Me and Alma are alike because um, we're both from the Bronx and we're both Puerto Rican. Um, and Alma loves her family and friends as much as I do. And also whenever Alma has a problem, she always just takes a moment and tries to figure it out so like a little bubble would appear next to her head and it would show you what she's thinking about great <laughs> like and and just tell me like in any particular well do you have any like favorite episode of your show so far my favorite episode is the mafungo episode when uh, alma's mom tries to make mafungo but then her Willow tastes it and it doesn't really taste good. So then once Alma tastes it, she she agrees with her abuelo. And so she tries to fix it herself. But when she asks her little brother and she keeps tasting it, and also her little doggy, she he sniffs it and he doesn't like it. So she keeps on making it worse and worse. And then she thinks it through to take a moment and remember what her papi says because her abuelo gave him an apron which is like a little chef thing, but it was too small. And it, then that was mommy's opinion. So then Alma waited until her mom wasn't busy and asked her and told her that, homo, that Herma fungal wasn't really good. And so they switched it, they saved it, and they saved the whole barbecue. Woohoo! <laughs> that's actually really interesting because that's also my favorite episode. Like, oh, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Guess I chose the right one. Because <laughs> like, it was the first episode, right? 
Yes, like, it was the first episode. Like starting up strong. Starting up strong, but then, you know, I taste it and then maybe I didn't do right, so. <laughs> but it all, it all turned out amazing in the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How has it, so tell me, like, how has the school year been for you? Like, the school year has been amazing for me because, like I said earlier, I've been meeting people in person and I love school and I love learning stuff. Just like you scientists, you love to study stuff um, and see what it's actually about. And so instead of doing virtual, we get um, here we are now safe, not hurt, not sick, because God has put a lot of blessings over us. Amazing, just amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just like so honored to like have you on the show. Okay. So like, tell me, how, how does it feel to see yourself on billboards and just like everywhere, like to see, well, like your character like everywhere. It feels amazing to see Alma's way on buses and billboards. And they also have posters on some trains. And it's really amazing because when people see those posters and billboards, they might want to check it out. And um, once the people check it out, I'm just really glad that once they see it, they really enjoy it and um, learn that it's a really good show for families and parents and children. I saw like a few posters for Alma's Way on the train the other day. Like quite a few of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and um, I think a few weeks ago, I saw the full billboard and my little sister was jumping in the air because she loves Alma's Way. She, and actually, I have PBS Kids, so she is able to watch some episodes and so she really, really loves it. She's like, Alma's Way! Way. So, so, like I'm um, like can you tell us about like what's it like being an actor and like tell us a bit about your journey of being an actor being an actor is amazing because well um my mom is an actor and so my dad used to rap so um, since my mom's an actor it's been helping me through Alma's way and so has my dad because once he used to um, when he used to rap, he taught me how to rap. So whenever there's, um, whenever I have to rap in Alma's way, like the theme song, it really helps me because I remember what my dad says. Amazing, just amazing. Like you have a rapping dad. I have a dad that plays the congas. R wow. And a mom who also acts. Oh wow, that's really interesting. So we both have moms who act. Hooray! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and we're both Puerto Rican. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, I feel like we have a lot in common, like a lot in common. You have a mom who acts, we're both Puerto Rican. So that question for when me and Alma were alike, that's pretty much me and you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, like, who inspires you? Well, um, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote uh, the theme song for Alma's Way, he made a little movie called Vivo. And me and my little sister love it because once I watched it, once I watched it and I knew who was doing the voice, I got really interested of the reactions that he did. And so it really inspired me to become an actor. And also my mom inspired me as well because um, she has been doing auditions and actually I'm her reader. So I, so I um, study with her lines. And so once I see her do the auditions and sometimes she does speaking engagements and I will go with her, I would study her and see how she does and what she says. Wow, Summer, that's amazing. So tell us, how does it feel from going to animation to a real film? I'm thinking something like, um, I don't know, Brownsville, Brownsville Bread. It feels absolutely amazing to go from a um, animated film to a real film. Because in Alma's way, you're doing voiceovers and you're not really actually meeting the um the actors in person, you're sort of in like a studio and you're reading the lines. 
and talking to a microphone. But when it comes to Brownsville Bread, I get to meet all of the actors, what are their names, and instead of looking to a microphone, I'm looking to a camera. And so um, in Brownsville Bread, instead of me just looking at the lines and looking at the camera, I have to look at the lines first and, and try to remember them. And if I just um, forget another, if I just forget a line, then I can, we can pause and I could look at the script again and try to remember it next time. That is, wow. So can you tell, so like about your movie, what kind of, what kind of movie is it? Like what's the genre of the movie? So Brownsville Red is about a little girl, um, a little girl in her journey and the relationship between her and her father. So Summer, about Brownsville Bread, where can we catch this movie? Well, actually it, has been, it hasn't been released yet, but stay tuned because soon it's gonna be in the theaters. Great, I can't wait to see it. So tell us, what are some characters or projects you would like to be a part of like now or in the future? Well, I would like to do a funny movie and be like, um, and do like a little bit of some comedy because I love, I am, I love funny movies, comedies like Sebastian Maniscalco or other um, comedians that I watch. They're really funny. And so one day in the future or now, which is very possible, I can do a funny movie. Amazing. I'm a, I'm a fan of comedy myself. And if you're going to be in a comedy movie, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day we could do it together. That would be nice. Sure. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Okay, so I know you're celebrating Halloween, but how else are you planning on celebrating it? Well, me and my family are planning to celebrate Halloween by going trick-or-treating, of course, um, carving pumpkins, and eating candy. But I have to make sure to brush my teeth so that I don't get cavities. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You gotta stay healthy while also having fun. <laughs> It's like, you gotta, you, you're gonna have fun, but you also gotta stay healthy for your teeth. Yep. Because it will not look nice. So how have, you been, how have you been balancing school and following your dreams at during the same time? Well, I have been balancing, balancing school and following my dreams um, because by the support of my mom and dad. So like they would make sure I have enough play time, I have enough time to have family time, um, but, I, but they also make sure that I have time to work. So like, for example, if I have an interview um, and it's like, I don't know, at 5.30 or something, or at two o'clock, then I would have to, I would actually have to do it after school. So that way, um, my parents make sure that I keep track of my schoolwork and for what I'm learning. Summer, if people want to learn more about you and keep up with your projects, how can we do that? Well, if you want to keep up with me and see what I have been doing, you can follow me on Instagram on Summer Rose Castillo. So Summer, do you have any advice or tips for young aspiring actors during this time? Well, yes, I do. And for those young little actors that want to be an actual actor one day, just be yourself and have fun. Oh, and also, if you're doing a film like Brownsville Red, make sure that you follow directions and also an Alma's way as well. Amazing. You're even inspiring me. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I just um, want to hope that the people who watch Alma's Way and for when Brownsville Bread comes out, um, I hope that they enjoy it and make sure that they can share it with their family and friends. Wow. Thank you for all this amazing advice, Isama. My pleasure. This has been absolutely amazing. Scientist, <laughs> I am ready to study. Oh, and don't forget to tune in on Alma's Way on PBS Kids. Thank you so much, Summer Rose Castillo, for joining us. And thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all had a fun, I hope you had fun. And get ready for your own special Halloween this year. Make it spooky. Make it safe. I'm Charmed Vida. Oops, I mean Dr. Two Brains. I'll catch you next time on Halloween 2.0. Bye.
Bye! <laughs>